everyone, today our group will be presenting on Tower of Pisa. Let me first introduce you our group member. Our group member consists of Pei Xian, Yue Ying, Wen Li, and me, Alison. Now let me introduce you the Tower of Pisa. The Ling Tower of Pisa is a freestanding bell tower of the Cathedral Italian city of Pisa. It is situated behind the cathedral and it is the third structure in Pisa. In the past, it was widely believed that the incarnation of the tower was part of the project ever since its beginning. But it is not so because the tower was intended to stand vertically. The tower began leaning to the southeast soon after the onset of construction in 1173 due to a poorly laid foundation and loose substrate that has allowed the foundation to shift direction. Because of its incarnation position and its beauty, the Pisa Tower became one of the seven wonders of the world. Now I will show you some pictures of Pisa Towers. the tower to fail. The tower fails because it is built on unsuitable ground for such a heavy and tall building. It is only about 6 meters above sea level and built on a river bay. A poorly laid foundation and loose substrate has allowed the foundation to shift. The underlying ground is made out of layer of fine sand and clay. This composition made the tower more compressible on the south side and so the soil at the south side compressed faster than the north side. The weight of the tower was actually the main factor of tilting. Over the years, as the tilt increased, the tower stopped sinking and began to rotate, the north side moving up towards the surface. This was later discovered by scientists that the tower position shifts in relation to the groundwater level. During constructing, the first floor of Pisa is conducted using white marble cantonel. It is surrounded by pillars with classical capitals leaning against bare arches. However, the tower began to sink after construction progressed to the third floor. And in an effort to compensate for the tilt, the engineer actually built higher floor with one side taller than the others. This made the tower begin to lean to the other direction. And because of this, the tower is actually curved. Consequences Tower is currently undergoing gradual surface restoration in order to repair visual damage, mostly caused by corrosion and blackening due to tower age and to its particular condition. No death and injury had been caused by the leaning tower, but apartments and houses in the path of the tower were evacuated for safety. Recently, a 20 million project was used to save the Pisa tower from leaning further, and it held a complete success. The tower has been straightened by 18 inches, returning to its 1838 position. Prevention The tower lean because the ground on the south side is more compressible than north side. Because of unregulated pumping from deep well during the early 1970s, the water table and soil behavior changed again, increasing tower inclination. So it is necessary to find a suitable geographical land. Secondly, Build a foundation that can withstand the building. Ensure the type of foundation is suitable for building such heavy construction. Have an adequate site investigation done before constructing so that any unexpected situation can be saved quickly. Soil test should be done as to determine the soil whether it is suitable for constructing buildings. The constructor should have a construction site investigation done so that when there is some unknown grounds or uncertainty, it can be soft to see, rather than building the south side of the tower higher when the tower starts to tilt to the north side. It was when the third story floor was built. This is the lack of design input, input during the construction. The constructor should not challenge themselves by continuing to build the building. They should have solved the problem or instead strengthen the floor before continuing. They should have stopped building to prevent the building 
a dangerous tower. This will save time and much more money in the future. What they have done to save the tower from further leaning. Firstly, giant weight stopped the tower from tilting. Beginning in 1993, nearly 2 million pounds of lead weight were placed on the north side of the tower. Not only did the tower stop tilting, it moved very slightly back towards straight. Secondly, belts and cable kept it from collapsing. Fearing that restoration work would topple the tower, a giant belt was looped around the building and connected to a large weight a block away. Tina steel bands were wrapped around the first level for added support. Thirdly, a ray of gel slowly removed soil, allowing the structure to settle. Engineering then sent 41 parallel tubes diagonally under the foundation. A specialty design agar, a giant gel bead, was inserted into each tube. A machine turned the agar one at a time to remove a small amount of soil over severe months. The drilling created small cavities all along the high side of the foundation, allowing the tower to settle. Fourthly, in an attempt to straighten the tower, builders tried using thicker stones on the downward side. Towers were also slightly straightened to a safer angle by removing 38 meter cube of soil from the underneath the rise end. Lastly, earth was excavated from beneath the foundation on the north side in order to gently coat the structure back towards the perpendicular. Curate our information collected. All found in internet and reference book. Some website provide information from companies or professional engineering. These are some website we found. What I have learned. The tower design is a bell tower of Caterture. Design is shaken by seven thermal each year because built on unstable ground. Built because the soil on the south side is just a little bit more compressible than on the north side. So the weight of the tower was main factor. The tilt increasing at the rate of about one and a half. 1 over 32 each per year of the tower visa. Tower begin to sink after constructed to third floor. Ensure that factor safety balance with the load of structure. Pleasure time and money. Cost foundation failure one of the reason lack of technology. Complexity of foundation. Instability resulting from the deformation of the ground around the foundation, the failure of the ground due to the strength being exceeded. This is due to the belt added to the tower when the tower was completed. There are a total of seven belts in the tower. This greatly in increased the stress added to the tower, which exceeded the ground stress limit. The building of the tower was suspended when the builders are aware that a shallow foundation would be inadequate in the soft soil. Rather than trying to fix the problem, the builders try to compensate by stacking up the upper soil more heavily against the tube, with one side of the building taller than another. The material used to build the tower is so fragile that the stress caused by its beam is close to causing the structure failure. The outside of the tower is made of strong marbles and the inside is made of rubber. Therefore, the walls cannot support the stress from the, from the bells. The main reason that caused the tower to lean is due to the unstability of the soil. The ground underlying the tower consists of three distinct layers. Layer A is about 10 meters thick and it consists of soft deposit of sandy clay silt that lie under the, the condition. Simple tests were made and the materials were found that to the south of the tower appears to be more clayey than the north, making it slightly compressible. Layer B consists of a soft, sensitive marine clay that extends to a depth of about 40 meters. This material is very sensitive and loses much of its strength if disturbed. Layer C is made of dense sand which extends to some depth. The water table in horizontal A is between 1 to 2 meters below the ground surface. The surface of the clay is dished beneath the tower, showing the average settlement 
which is between 2.5 meters to 3 meters, it is a good indication on how soft the ground is. We have taken our sources from this website.